Okay, welcome to this uh, particular op amp circuit. Uh, looks looks scary because there's actually two different op amps here. So there's a cascade of op amps, and we've not looked at a problem like this before. Uh, here is a uh, one voltage source that's at negative 0.6 volts, and another voltage source at 0.5 volts. So there's two ways to attempt uh, this particular problem. One way is to basically assume. Uh, that you memorize the op-amp topology. And if you really uh, look at the op-amp topology, what you'll find is that this first op-amp right here, the first op-amp right here, because of negative feedback and the way uh, the voltage source is applied to the inverting amp, uh, inverting end of the op-amp, this particular op-amp has a inverting amplifier topology. The op-amp will invert this input voltage meaning minus will be positive on this side, and it will apply a gain based on this resistor ratio right here. So here's three kilo ohm on the feedback path, one kilo ohm in the signal path. So the overall gain will actually end up being three. So the first op amp is the inverting amplifier, so we get a, with a gain of three. So here, at this node right here, let me actually label this node as V1. So V1 will actually turn out to be exactly three times uh, 0.6 volts, so 1.8 volts. Now after that, so we have 1.8 volts coming in here and 0.5 volts from here. This second op amp is actually in a summing amplifier topology. And uh, this particular summing amplifier, what we'll find out is it's summing amplifier in an inverting mode. So we'll actually, based on these values of the resistance, so this particular voltage right here, and this particular voltage right here will be weighted by the resistance we have here, and we'll actually end up with uh, the sum uh, based on that particular ratio. So this feedback divided by this, and this feedback divided by this. So uh, so we'll find out that we'll have a total of one contribution from here, 1.8 from here, so we'll, we should see a voltage output of about 2.8 volts, a negative 2.8 because it's in an inverting amplifier. Now all of that sounds scary because it basically requires that you memorize the topology. And I am a big advocate for not memorizing topologies. Well, memorizing topology will sometimes help you see the solution right away, but if you basically follow the ideal op-amp rules and Kirchhoff's current law at certain nodes, you should be able to do even a larger cascade like this fairly straightforward. So we'll, that's, the, that's the approach we're gonna take here. So let's do this. Let's call this current I1, and we'll call this current I2 for now, okay? Uh, by ideal op-amp rules, uh, no current goes through here and no current goes through here uh, to the minus and the plus terminal. And uh, that also the voltage at this node right here, since there's a reference node, reference node attached on this side, the voltage at this is zero volt. Uh, so the plus terminal is at zero volts. So this inverting terminal is also at zero volts or virtual ground, okay? so. If I apply Kirchhoff's current law at that particular node, I will end up with I1 is equal to I2, right? So I1 is equal to I2, and I1 starts at minus 0 0.6 volts, minus 0, divided by 1,000, 1 kilo ohm, and I2 is 0 minus V1 divided by 3,000. Right? So basically, if I arrange this, I get minus 0 0.6 equals minus V1 over 3. You know, therefore, V1 equals 1.8 volts. Okay, so that's 1.8 volts, as I had stated earlier. Now, on the second op amp, again, we'll use ideal op amp. Uh, this side is 0. So this node is going to be at zero volts. Let's call this current I3, current I4, and this I5. So at this node right here, Kirchhoff's current law says I3 and I4 going in, and I5 is coming out. So I3 plus four should be equal to I5. I3 is 0 0.5 minus zero divided by 1000. I4 is 0, oh sorry, 1.8 minus 0 divided by 2K or 2000. 
and I5 is 0 minus B out. So minus B out, oh, minus B out, divided by 2000. Okay. Now, if I rearrange terms here, uh, I will get, uh, so these three zeros on each side will, if I multiply both sides by 1000, or let's multiply both sides by 2000. So uh, what I'll get is 2000 times 0.5 divided by 1000 is 2 times 0.5, so 1, plus 1.8 times 2000 divided by 2000 is 1.8, and minus V out over 2000 times 2000 equals minus V out. So in other words, V out equals minus 2.8 volts. So this V out is equal to minus 2.8 volts. All right. So again, so quick summary of this, you could basically uh, recognize the different op amp topologies and decide to use the op amp rules. Uh, for example, this topology right here, uh, that topology is of the inverting amplifier. This topology right here is of the summing in, uh, inverting amplifier. So you could just use the uh, inverting and the summing amplifier uh, formula or the topology rules to figure out the voltage. But if you just use Kirchhoff's current law, you can get the same answer uh, as well.